everybody um, and welcome to a crazy back to fashion week vlog I'm not sure if I'm ready to be back at the fashion week craziness very excited but also not sure I'm ready to go back to the fashion week craziness because there's so much going on today we're on our way it's Saturday morning I have to go to the off-white fitting I mean I don't have to go I choose to go because I love it and I cannot wait to discover their new boutique on um, Rue Castillon, which is um, going to be much bigger than the old boutique in San Andreas. So I will take you with me a little bit for a tour. Let's do that. Got our essential for the morning, my favorite oatmeal latte one in Paris. Literally, there is nowhere else in town that I love coffee as much. Paris is very loud, as always. Just walking to literally like next block to the off-white. And then I don't know if I'm gonna show you what I picked because you should wait to see it on the day of the show. That's the plan. Okay guys, fitting it on white is really difficult because actually there are so many amazing looks. This was my second contender, so I'm showing it to you because um, the look itself I will show you at the day of the show, which is tomorrow. <laughs> it's so amazing. I love it. And the new boutique is incredible. <laughs> So this is the new store in Castellon, like these are the looks that I tried, this dress guys, it comes in black and white with a hole on the side, it's so freaking cool, then the blue suit, then of course they have my shoes, look at the bags you guys, I mean this store is so incredible, I was just saying, I've never seen a shop like this it's like almost an art installation with some clothes you know but the clothes are also pieces of art so there's three floors all together well two more and I mean you have to come if you're in Paris you have to come check it out these are my favorite shoes but I also love those and the boots Okay guys, didn't vlog really much, but wanted to show you my outfit. This is my off-white look. I'm wearing this incredible suit. Like, look at this gray blazer, how flattering. Underneath, I've got like a off-white bikini, just to kind of pick out a little bit. And the trousers, which are out of this world. These are the sunglasses with these little kind of signature holes. I just picked them because I think they perfectly match the look. And what else have I got? I have the boots the boots are i mean look at this piece of art right so that's it it's pouring outside we need to go because the show is in half an hour so this quickly just for you guys we're at the show we just seated and waiting for it to start hopefully very soon um until then i'll show you a little bit of my surroundings everybody and welcome to another day it's officially my first day of haute couture i'm very excited because it's my first ever dior haute couture show you might be wondering wait a second but you went to so many dior shows and that's correct but last two haute couture shows were um, digital so there was no physical presence and before that i never actually went so this is a very very excited mo exciting moment for me and I wanted to start at home and kind of present you what I'm wearing and show you how I'm getting ready it's a really like one of the four I think or like three physical shows that are even taking place during this week and I'm like beyond grateful to the Dior team to invite me so let me show you what I'm wearing this silk dress underneath which by the way is beautiful especially when worn with the white boots and the Dior socks spoken out and over it I have a raincoat I mean it's not like really raining but i mean when you have this logo dior raincoat you know what i mean so this is it i also have a bucket hat and my dior caro bag packed with all the essentials i only need to put my vlogging camera in it as well and i love this beautiful gray color i was thinking between the white and the gray i will insert the picture of the white large caro bag that i shot now so you can see it but overall i actually decided to wear the gray one just because I don't really need that many things. I think this is super cute as a color combination. And uh, yeah, we're heading there now. A few things to do. The driver is waiting as um, usually during the haute couture season and right to wear season. I'm the ambassador of the Fédération de la Mode at haute couture, which is very, very 
a big privilege for me. So right now we're leaving and we're getting to the work. It's a sunny day, but it's really exciting because, as, you, as I said just before, there's not that many shows and, I mean, the Orkutur is, you know, it doesn't really get better than that. So I also wanted to show you a little jewelry uh, situation. I mean, besides all of the stuff that I always wear, I have these two um, tribale earrings, which say Jeti And also this bracelet. Look, look, look. Ta-da! with my arm candy which is so wonderful i love it i love i mean i really really love the dior costume jewelry i think they always do so amazing here we are Musée Rodin. i just did my street style and stuff like that and i like to be at the show early it is so beautiful bonjour ouais. and, and i just ran into my favorite two people well i ran into a lot of favorite people but senia's here brian's here and uh, well, let's see what you are wearing. Wow, that Lady Dior is stunning. Mm. It's like an ombre effect. Very nice. I, and I love your hat and your earring. I love you. It's mutual. Yeah. What are you wearing, Senia? Show us. You're wearing a beautiful my The hearts are the for hearts. you. Wow, I'm feeling so much There's love today. Love. How did I deserve this? And the outfit should open the jacket a little bit. The clueless, um, you know, I love clueless it. Reference. Of course, the clueless, one hundred percent. I love it. Okay, guys, let's inspect the venue. I've just done my photo call, and we need to see. It's going to be a very small show because Autocotor is very, very, um, anyway, uh, exclusive. But I'm very happy to see what it's going to be like inside. Let's see. What do you think you will see today? That's a really good question. Right? I, I say boots. I mean, look at a lot of uh, embroidery on the walls. So there's a lot of embroidery. What do you, Alex, think we will see today? I think uh, definitely the, the Dior signature looks, the dresses with a lot of prints that and I'm boots. obsessed with. Eh? So they do boots. Yeah. Boots? And couture. Absolutely. Ooh. Okay, I think yeah. there's going to be a lot of embroidery. I can see some nature on the walls. I will show you in a second. Yeah. Like uh, nature prints, uh, looks like trees. I don't actually know, mountains. And I presume it's going to be nature inspired, but let's see. out soon inside are the most beautiful embroideries let's see a lot of them the same as on the walls okay guys very very far on the other side of the show there is Monica Bellucci we are um, turning this way as you can see but she's on the other side and she looks stunning she looks really 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 stunning I'm here with the ladies I only follow on Instagram. I'm quite shook like they exist in real life. It's weird. It's not a fake account. It's not a fake account. Those bitches are real. Okay. And we're not AI. Okay. It's, it's my first Dior Couture show. So. Same. Same. Really? Same. No. Yeah, because it was digital for the longest time, the yeah, Couture. Yeah. I love this. Yeah. We made it, girls. Congrats to us. Congrats. Congrats. You have to say, what do you think you're going to see at the show today, Lena? Uh, I hope I'm gonna see some big dresses, like the major dresses. Massive ones, yeah? Massive dresses. Okay, and where would you wear it? To the grocery store. show is over and it was honestly incredible there were 75 looks of haute couture and what I've noticed with haute couture especially lately is it's getting a little bit more wearable but in a super sophisticated way still of course um, so sometimes people ask me wait a second Tamara but what is the difference between the ready to wear shows and the haute couture shows and ah, this is the thing the haute couture is so much more prestigious it is basically a special line dedicated to very 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 high fashion and the difference between the ready to wear and haute couture is that haute couture is from start to finish fully 
made in Paris. Like every little button sewn, embroidery made, everything has to be made in Paris in order to qualify for being haute couture. And you cannot just kind of decide to call your collection couture. You have to actually have all of these, you know, like licenses and things and papers and not many big fashion houses have the couture line. But Dior is, I would say, since the start, uh, is one of the biggest fashion houses when it comes to couture. But I think we will discuss this a little bit later because I want to go through every look that I really loved, explain a few things about it and tell you why I think that having a couture line is important. Guys, okay, it's a busy, busy, busy day, right? And it's been a lot with Louis Vuitton lately, but tonight I'm going to a very special event. For the first time ever, I'm going to Fondation Louis Vuitton, which is for me such a massive pleasure. You guys know of all the incredible artist collaborations that Louis Vuitton has ever collaborated with, Frank Gehry is my favorite. And tonight I get to be in his presence. Okay, I will insert the bag that he's done for Louis Vuitton before. I mean, of course I don't own it. It's been before the time that I could ever buy something like this. I was way too young, but I think he's incredible. And his de de deconstructed forms are something that really, really attracted me always. But on this occasion, in the presence of Delphine Anon and um, Frank Gehry, there will also be like people like Nicolas Gasquier, Anna Bintour, like, I mean, it's super crazy to be there tonight. And I'm gonna show you what they collaborated on. Here's the invitation, which I mean, you know what I mean, it's uh, very, very, very exclusive. Here we have the box inside. Here is the stunning box that it arrives in. And then once you open it like this, there's a Frank Gehry illustration over here. And can you open this? Oh my God, there's a little drawer. And it, oh my God, there are five. There is a Dancing Blossom, which is one that I have received. Wow, wow, wow. Cosmic Cloud, Rhapsody, Symphony, and Stellar Times. Honestly, I have no words to tell you, but we have to rush because we have to go. I cannot wait to go to the event. Wow, we just arrived and this is the venue overview from above. This is like everybody coming down the stairs, as you can see. It's a very starry event. What do you think about the venue, Brian? The venue is magnificent. This is better light. Yes, and we're here at the Fondation de Vuitton. And, and you look magnificent too. It doesn't too. get any more modern and French than this. I love it. What about you, Veronica? What is your favorite part? Um, being out with my friends. In Likewise. And you look amazing. I love your uh, footwear. Yeah, I'm wearing heels. Fabulous. I see, I see. I mean, for your for your fabulous height. The, yeah. Mademoiselle! In case you forget my name. I like it because Is that okay? Hi, girls. They're busy. Is that a video? Yes. Okay. But you look good, I checked. Thank you. I want to see what is this. It's a gel hydroalcoholic. Lavande. Oh, that's perfect. You should try it. <laughs> Such a good friend. Spray on you the alcoholic gel. Smell it. Smell it. So every, you know, Are you kidding? I'm high. I'm high. You're vlogging with my camera. No. Vlogging lessons. Then I do need the vlogging lesson. Yeah, yeah, I mean, how many uh, millions of subscribers you have? So there we go. And I think the one who actually needs the vlogging lessons because she picked the wrong camera, but I love you so much. my loves and welcome to another video today's one originally i would have started this video much earlier in the day this morning we left uh, venice around 8 30 
it's 1.5 now and we're in Croatia in Rovinho. This is a trip I was looking forward to so much. Like I've been looking forward to it for a month because it's my first ever trip with Chanel. Uh, I'm still looking forward to it very much. It's just that I didn't really hope I would start it in this way, you know? Um, I'm feeling very confused with the way how I should continue my work. I'm feeling just confused. I don't feel like it's hard for me to vlog because every time I'm vlogging, every time I'm filming something, I do it like I'm FaceTiming my friends. Like, for example, you know, I put on a camera and I speak to my family, to my friends, I speak to how I feel. You know, sometimes I feel like this is my therapy. Speaking to you guys is really opening up, telling you how I feel, documenting what I'm going through. So in good and in bad, I feel like it's, for me, is very normal to be vlogging and to be creating content. And the reason why I feel confused about it is I'm usually a very, very happy person. And I'm like that by nature. I'm very grateful, I am very optimistic, and I'm like that right now as well. It's a mix of so many feelings and so many things in my brain that I'm just a little bit confused what I need to do and what I need to put out there. But I've spoken to my boyfriend, to my family, and everybody is saying to me, Tamara, show must go on, and you just need to get occupied, get busy, work and work hard so that you can get back what you lost, so that you can try and make up at least a small percentage of everything. Yesterday I had to take a flight to Venice and at the airport when they asked me for PCR test and documentation I was like, I stood for 10 seconds like with my brain being blank, not understanding like what the woman is asking me like and then when I understood that I'm being really weird I was like oh my god I'm so sorry I'm so sorry and then I showed her the wrong PCR test of my boyfriend. On the brighter note we are currently in Croatia in one of my favorite countries in the world. We are here in Rovin for a beautiful trip with Chanel. I'm so happy to be here and explore a little bit more Chanel Factory 5, which is something that I've already spoken to you about in Paris. And remember in that vlog I said, I'm not gonna talk too much about these products because you will see them in the vlog very soon. Before I go Further into this, I wanted to actually show you the most incredible room that they put me in. This is the first time that I'm staying at the Grand Hotel Park and it's so beautiful. And as you can see, the hotel room has two floors. When we entered the hotel itself, I was like, oh my God, what a stunning view. This was my travel outfit. I don't know why, but lately I'm just feeling very, very comfortable in these kind of simple black looks. So just a little toilet actually at the entrance. I'm wearing my Valentino Atelier sandals, these I love so much. And this is what you see upon the entrance, the stairs that go downstairs to the bedroom. This is a little welcome, wow, I mean, the fruits. Oh, I love these nuts. Spicy chickpeas. We have frangipan fruit crostata, oh my god, yummy. And something else and some champagne. Here is a little sitting area with a view of Rovigno. Look at it there. Okay, let me zoom it in because this is truly magnificent. I think this is one of the most beautiful cities in Istria. If I'm wrong, let me know. But I mean, okay, I don't know Istria that well, but I love it. So, so, so beautiful. And then from here, you can see the bedroom area downstairs. This is a little, not so little actually, balcony with a tiny jacuzzi pool. Buongiorno. I love in Croatia, like they're so, the hospitality is just so great. So here you can see the, the terrace that I've just told you about. There's not much sun here, but there's a lot of privacy as you can see, which is something I really appreciate. And then I love this kind of feeling of a little cave, the bed. The beautiful bathroom. This is the wardrobe area. Let's see how we're gonna bring the suitcases downstairs. I mean, look at the bath. How stunning. This is where I'll be getting ready before we go to explore the Chanel number no. five factory and the shower and the toilet. So, so beautiful. So I'm very grateful to Chanel for this. Wanted to fill you in before we continue with the Croatia journey. Um, in, like a little bit that has happened in the past two days. So I was in Serbia to get 
my passport sorted immediately because basically what happened is I just got a travel document in Serbian embassy in Paris, then I had to fly to Belgrade, <sighs> then I had to get a new passport urgently, and uh, then I had to leave Serbia to travel to European Union. But now I didn't have my European passport. I only had my Serbian passport and that was a problem. However, I had the police report that my European passport is stolen. So then, you know, I was like, okay, having to prove all of these things, flying to Venice, coming back to Croatia, it was a mission. But we will be sleeping here for one night to, you know, do my job. After that, uh, we are heading to uh, back to Italy. And at the moment, I am very confused with what I want to do and where I want to stay. I'm not making any decisions. I'm just doing whatever I feel like. And I feel like working. I feel like working. I feel like going and pushing more and pushing and pushing and achieving. And I don't feel like anything else other than working. So um, we have a wedding to go to on this Saturday followed by a lot of work on my behalf in Cannes for the film festival. That is what is gonna happen for the next time, but I don't know how long this vlog is going to be and when I'm gonna finish it, but I believe like tomorrow I'm gonna vlog us in Croatia a little bit, I'm gonna vlog us a bit in Italy, and you will get all of that in this vlog. We are staying in Rovin only one night, but I haven't packed just few of the pieces because as you guys know I'm here with Chanel so I have a few of my favorite things. I really wanted to bring the black bag that I recently wore from Chanel but unfortunately I don't have it anymore. However I'm very lucky because I have one hand bag from Chanel left which is also coincidentally my favorite bag. I think because this bag looks the way it looks when it's unworn. They probably thought it's kind of like whatever. I'm wearing the most amazing Coco Beach outfit and I also have a Coco Beach outfit from last year as well for this trip. The shorts are now very big because as you guys can imagine, I mean much bigger than a week ago when I tried them on. As you guys can imagine, I couldn't eat anything for like two, three days after everything happened, but we're all back to normal. I'm gonna go and have a nice lunch by the pool. This is the last year's Coco Beach collection. Um, I have a jacket and the shorts. It's terry cloth shorts and the jacket and I love this. Then I have this year's pre-spring kind of Rio print look and I have this kind of um, scarf. I have my shoes and the bag that you've seen. One thing I advise everybody is to whenever you're down always have someone around you who makes you laugh. I just came down and I asked my boyfriend, what shall we drink? And he said, uh, I just asked them, do you have fresh juice? And they said, no, right? No, I said, yeah, hi, uh, you know, I called the waiter and said, do you have fresh juice? And they said, no. I said, what do you have? We have orange. I'm like, okay, so this is, fr but is it fresh? Yes, so you have fresh juice. Yes. So what else do you have? Lemon. And I said, okay. Uh, so can you put lemon and orange together? Yes. Do you have a little bit of ginger? Yes, okay, that's perfect. So they bring it to me. And... Uh, <laughs> You know, I drink it. And that's it's beautiful. It. Vitamin C. I and love then it. I go through the menu and I read fresh lemonade. And I'm like, okay, that could be what I had. Then fresh orange juice. I think she didn't understand. And I'm you. like, uh, okay, that, that's. Also fresh. Then fresh, that fresh pink grape juice. Also fresh. And then wait, because the last one is uh, Prirodni Sokov Yalanas. <laughs> Naranka, Jabuka. So I'm like a fresh juices, pineapple, orange, apple. So at the end of the day, they have orange, lemon, pineapple, apple, and grapefruit. You can see like a bit of Ravinia over there. I mean, I didn't want to vlog that much of the pool area because obviously people are relaxing and you know, all that sort of stuff. But look how stunning is this. <music> Actually, saw my friends today, Alex and Snezhana, at the pool. So we spent the whole day at the pool, really enjoying. This is what I'm wearing to go and check out the Chanel Number no. Five Factory Five pop-up. I'm wearing my favorite pre-spring pants, black top, my only Chanel bag that I have left, and 
actually this little beauty here as well it's my phone so i would normally now wear also some chanel necklaces i think that would go really well but well you know okay guys so in robin outside of the grand hotel park there is the chanel factory 5 pop-up which is truly 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 amazing it's similar to the one that i took you um to with me in paris but it's a little bit smaller scale however you can get the factory 5 products here which i think are amazing and in fact like i really want to go and get one of them which is the the bath the bath tablets because i think they're so let's go and get them now. I mean, what more can you wish for? You have the pop-up with all the products and there is the most beautiful view of Robin over there. Okay guys, it's a new day. I'm by the pool. I haven't actually been vlogging much because I think I mentioned yesterday I'm a little bit confused about the content, you know, like it's a lot of feelings, a lot of emotions still, but I think I'm doing very well. Right now I sit down to respond to all the messages. Oh, I hit myself. I'm wearing my Coco Beach from Chanel. Yesterday you saw that I discovered the beautiful pop-up, which actually you can see from here. So we're in the Grand Hotel Park, which is stunning. And then the pop-up is right over there. In case you are in Robin, you have to go and check it out. That's where we were yesterday. And this is the beautiful view of the city. I really, really, really love it. We are leaving Rovin soon. It was short, sweet, beautiful. I love Croatian coast, as you know. I always feel here like at home and the sun is really, I don't know, it reminds me of my childhood. For now, we're packing, we're leaving, we're heading back to Italy where I now need to pick my life up and I have to keep going on. And uh, we're heading back to work and back to all the commitments that we made prior to these events, so. Let's do that. Good morning, everybody. It's a new day, and today we woke up in Milan. I just had a hairdresser leave and got these soft waves um, done for a wedding we're attending today of our close friends who are getting married in Lake Como. Uh, what got me super, super happy last night? Well, it was a really an emotional moment. I arrived in Milan, and I got is what I wear every single day my flat snake necklace that unfortunately, all, literally, I took it off. This necklace and my elephant necklace, I took it off for one day. And yeah, I always wear this necklace every single day. And you know, like uh, even when I went to Serbia, my best friend, he told me like, I hope they didn't steal the, my favorite necklace you wear. And I said, which one? And he said like the flat snake. And uh, yeah, they did, but I got it back and I'm so happy about it. I love this necklace so much and I know you guys do too. And you know how much I wear it. So I'm very happy to have it back as I will actually have one necklace for the wedding today something on my neck. I got like lots of other beautiful ones from the new collection that I will show you soon as well, but I couldn't wear to put this one back on. So very happy about that. Yeah, huge thanks to Misoma. I will link it below if you guys also want to check it out. On our way now, I just have to pop to Sephora to get some stuff. You guys know that I unfortunately don't have, they took also my makeup bags, so there's some stuff that I don't have. I'm gonna go and buy the things that I need. And then we're gonna get, head to Como to get ready and that's it so what's the plan for the day okay so we are at the hotel at the moment Como. i'm gonna show you tomorrow i think tomorrow we can show them now i'm actually doing my makeup on bed because um the light is coming from there kind of i'm getting ready i'm wearing a beautiful gian battista valley gown which i will show you i will show you once my makeup is done also i think the wedding i mean i'm so happy because it's a wedding of our amazing friends who are such wonderful people so today for their day we're gonna have the best day despite everything how do you feel baby after everything it's all good you know you're gonna raise again no doubts like a phoenix so that is the current situation i will show you once the makeup is done the dress and um, I'm, I'm happy we're gonna be in como tomorrow at the lake the day after I'm going to be at the office in Milan, working hard and then we're heading to Cannes because I can. Then I just decided to put the hair like this because of the dress. I'm wearing Gian Battista Valli. I hope you can see it well. I mean, I wanted ideally to wear my Bulgari Serpenti watch with this look. Um, a little bit different stuff, but 
This is all I have right now and I will show you the look which I think is beautiful. This is my dress. I mean, we had a bit of time to decide what to wear and uh, it's this stunning pink cupcake Giambattista Valley with Alessandro Rich shoes that I think are so beautiful. You have seen these in my shoe collection video. And the clutch, love shower, which basically just fits my lipstick touch-up. My phone and the credit card will be with you, baby, right? Yep. Let's go. morning everybody um, it is the morning after the wedding we got our friends married which was amazing baby how was the wedding it was incredible incredible guys incredible. at one point during the ceremony um, they had their son bring the rings which was so stunning and we were all looking at him he's the most adorable little boy and then my boyfriend like he nudged he was nudging me and he was like Tamara look is Andrea we were, Bocelli. We were all looking yeah. At, you know, yeah, we're all looking at the boy. And then at one point my boyfriend nudges me and he's like, Is Andrea Bocelli there? And I was like, What? That's impossible. And then I look and then Andrea Bocelli starts singing and honestly it was that was crazy. That was very emotional because he's seeing the Ave Maria. Yeah. So it was very touching. And then uh, you know, yeah. if you think that the Ave Maria, which is already a very yeah, yeah. song, yeah. was sing by yeah. the most Important and voice, the, yeah, and there is voice in the planet. But the best moment, baby, was uh, me catching the bouquet, no? Huh? Me catching the bouquet. Well, we, you know, we're still checking the bar <laughs> because, uh, you know, some now... of my, <laughs> some of my audience is asking what bar is. Bar is like in football when they, you know, when they don't know if it was a penalty or not, they and check. then they check the cameras. But I have to say. Now people are gonna think that I like want to get married, which is not even the case, you know? No, no, you just were there. We just need to understand if the bouquet went to you or if you went to the bouquet. You know, it's not that I don't want to get married like ever, but it's not something that is at all on my cards now that I don't even know where I'm gonna live. And especially because, you know, we're, we are, need to plan the home, we need to plan so many things, we need to... It's just not the... I don't think it's my priority right now. What do you think? But baby, do you want to get married? Of course I do, but not today. <laughs> not today. Not today. <laughs> huh? Also not tomorrow. No, we have uh, other priorities now. Yeah, so many other priorities. Yeah. Right now I don't have a home to start exactly. with. So the plan for today is driving to Milan, right? Packing, yes. first of all, checking out. We need to check out. Um, and then I'm going to head out. Alessandra told me it's Sunday today, but Alessandra told me she's going to go to Buongiorno. showroom. Buongiorno. The, we will head to the showroom to pick some outfits for Khan. Yeah. So very exciting because I actually never did the, I never did a fitting with Alessandra herself. No. Though she did fit dresses on me before, like she fixed them sometimes when I wear them <laughs> and then she would fix them. But. Anyway, she is amazing and I'm very, very, very much looking forward to that. So we are leaving, sadly, but you know, there's so many things to do. I'm actually feeling a little bit tempted. There's a tiny Louis Vuitton store over there. You see the Vuitton boutique? I'm actually feeling tempted to buy a makeup bag. Do you think we should do it? Yeah, we should. Because I don't have a proper one. I don't know if they have it, but I should think so. So why don't we just stop by? Yeah, I didn't even actually show you my outfit. I'm wearing a white article dress. Um, got my favorite as you guys know misoma hoops the this is misoma beaded collection which is perfect for summer i love it very very much as you guys know me i like to make up the lost now we can go to milan good morning from milan after more than seven days last night was the first night that i actually slept alone which i think is a big progress uh it's been a week so um, last night was the first night I slept alone and I did very well. The only thing that I'm having at the moment is waking up very early in the morning without an alarm and just kind of not being able to fall back asleep. But I think 
that's normal even remembering from my pharmacist days that is something that when you kind of have like a big negative event in life that's apparently quite normal we're in milan tomorrow i'm going to Cannes, so i would like to stop this video here i wanted to last yesterday actually the last thing that you saw was me leaving villa d'este um going to louis vuitton and uh, we stopped by kind of like this part of villa d'este i'm wearing by the way this new t-shirt that i bought in saint laurent on saturday on the day that everything happened uh, just before and it says love 1989 which is my year of birth i love the colors as well of this t-shirt but i got my makeup done because today i'm going to go to the office because we're in milan i'm gonna go to the office and do a lot of work before come tomorrow because there's so much for me to cover so many messages and emails to respond and so many things to do and i have to get on it quickly got ready dressed and stuff because like i said i'm going to the office i've changed kind of my look a little bit according to what i'm wearing and i wanted to show you what i have what i decided that i need to replace immediately that got stolen as well because i needed really soon all of my louis vuitton stuff except from one bag uh, got stolen except from vanity pm because i guess they did not see the vanity pm it was on the floor i was wearing it the day before and i think they missed it but i'll show you what i decided to get to replace one really annoying thing that um they stole, well, a lot of things are very annoying that they stole, but my suitcase, my new Rimowa that I bought in Milan last time I was here, and my Pegasus um, Louis Vuitton hand luggage, I will insert the picture here, that's so annoying that they stole, because I've had it for years, I love it so much, and I needed to travel, and I needed to travel, so I'm using currently my broken Rimowa, I'm using, um, I had no makeup bags, because they stole my makeup bags too, my, like, a beauty bag, and my makeup bag, and they also stole uh, like hand luggage. So when I needed to travel, I basically didn't have anything. My boyfriend gave me his makeup bag, which is Louis Vuitton King. Uh, it's the one with the two zips. So I will show it to you because I still have it here. What did I get in here? A little gift. Oh, it's full of mini travel size Louis Vuitton fragrances. You guys know I love them. My favorite. What I thought I urgently need. Oh my God, they packed it so nicely. Box number one. And it's something that I actually have because Louis Vuitton has given it to me in a limited edition print, but it's Denise. You guys know I've had this for many years as well, but this honestly is the best, 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 best travel uh, bag for me. I love it. And I mean, I have the other one in the pastel print. I will show you when I'm done with the unboxing. Um, and for me, this is just amazing because it fits so much and then in here but this is so sweet how they packed it so nicely i like i told you i wasn't sure if i want to buy the stuff that got stolen i'm not sure if i want to replace it yet because you know it's very very uh raw yet and i feel like i'm just spending money on something that i already had purchased so it's really weird but these are the things that i really needed and i really wanted to get the same that i had and this is the makeup bag that the same one i use i cannot believe that they stole this because i've been using the same makeup bag for five years and someone who travels a lot and has a makeup bag full all the time you can imagine how it was inside i mean it's plastic inside which is great but it was like full of makeup you know not full of makeup but you know when the eyeshadow crumbles a little bit a blush when there's a little bit of um, you know stain from a brush and things like that i was shocked that they would take a five-year-old makeup bag but i decided to get these two because i need them for traveling and um i didn't want to actually use my boyfriend's one all the time so i wanted to give him his one even though he said don't worry i don't need it take mine take everything you need uh, he's like i'll give you and they also stole his um louis vuitton travel bag because he was in paris for the weekend but i will show you what i've been using in the meanwhile um so this is my boyfriend's uh beauty bag this is called king uh it has the two zips and i'm currently keeping my makeup in there because i didn't have anything to put a vast amount of makeup that i wanted to bring with me by the way is most of the makeup that i have because i mean uh, you know they took so much and i also have this niece it's in this pastel print that i got in monaco that i've shown you before just for me personally this beauty bag is the best shape it's the best size it fits a lot of stuff this is what it looks like it has the pastel print but i still wanted to have the classic monogram as well 
and I really, really love this. I mean, overall, I'm a big fan of Louis Vuitton beauty bags. This is my everyday use one, and it's super cute little one. And that is it. I'm gonna finish this video here. I'm gonna say thank you one more time because you guys are really the best with all the love, support, and kind messages that I'm giving. I know it's such a cliche, but it really, really, really honestly makes so much difference. The messages that I've been receiving, the comments, I'm reading all of them, and they truly warm my heart. They make me feel safer. They give me comfort, and I love you for that. I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.